This is a video of a ureter dumping urine into the bladder. Without this process, our bodies would build up with waste and eventually become incompatible with life. Let's break down how and why this process occurs. This square-like structure with the black background here is the inside of a bladder. The urine we're seeing being shot into the bladder is coming via this structure, the ureter, which if you continue upward goes into the renal pelvis and eventually our kidneys. Of note, when you have a urinary tract infection of the urethra, this is called urethritis. If it works its way up into the bladder, this is called cystitis. Sometimes if left untreated, that infection can work its way up the ureters into the kidneys. It can cause a condition called pyelonephritis, which can lead to urosepsis and be life-threatening. Our kidneys are incredible. They balance the amount of fluid in your body blood pressure, detect waste in the blood, and know when to release vitamins and minerals. For example, they convert vitamin D into its active form and even regulate the release of certain hormones like erythropoietin, which communicates with the bone marrow to help our body make more red blood cells. The average adult has 4.5 to 5.5 liters of blood in their body and their kidneys will filter this blood around 20 to 25 times in a day, getting rid of waste material, toxins, and excess fluids in the bloodstream. This means that together, these organs can filter over 100 liters every 24 hours. The ingredients in your blood is constantly changing depending on what you're eating and drinking, which explains why your kidneys need to be on active duty 24 seven. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm your host, Dr. Nav. If you guys are learning something new, don't forget to give this a huge thumbs up and please smash that subscribe button. It really helps our family grow. Thank you. Let's say you eat a meal and drink some fluids. After our body takes the nutrients from this meal, waste products are left behind in the bowel and in the blood. The blood enters the kidneys through the arteries that branch and branch until they form tiny vessels that intertwine with special internal modules called nephrons. In each kidney, there's around 1 million of these nephrons, which form a powerful array of filters and sensors that carefully sift through the blood. To filter the blood, each nephron uses two powerful pieces of equipment, a blob-like structure called the glomerulus and a stringy straw-like structure called a tubule. The glomerulus works like a sieve, allowing only certain ingredients such as vitamins and minerals to pass into the tubule. Then this vessel's job is to detect whether any of those ingredients are needed in the body. If so, they're reabsorbed in amounts that the body needs so they can continue to circulate in the blood. The blood doesn't just carry useful ingredients, it contains waste products too. The tubules sense compounds the body doesn't need and redirects them as urine out of the kidney through two long sewers called ureters. The ureter wall continually tightens and relaxes, forcing urine downward away from the kidneys, not allowing it back up or to stand still. These tubules empty their contents into the bladder to be discharged, ridding your body of that waste once and for all. Your kidneys can also adjust to volume changes, excreting more water when you drink too much and hanging on to more water when you haven't had enough. There's less water in the urine when you're dehydrated and this is actually why your urine is yellower when you're dehydrated. Once the urine has reached the bladder, that's where the fun begins. The bladder is about the size of a pear when empty. Its walls can relax and expand to store urine, allowing urination to be controlled. The normal capacity is about half a liter. The bladder has a direct line of communication with the brain and it tells your brain how full it is. When the bladder is full, these nerves will alert the brain that it's time to urinate. When you make your way to the washroom and eventually to the toilet, the brain will tell the bladder to contract and squeezes urine out of the bladder. And at the same time, the sphincter muscles relax to allow urine to exit out. The urethral sphincters in males and females are two muscular structures that regulate the outflow of urine and help to keep it from leaking by closing tightly. Ultimately, without this process, life itself would cease to exist. It's pretty miraculous this occurs without us thinking about it and just another reminder of how incredible your body is. 